Yeah. Time to see the thunder from down under. Yeah. You like in the States? Yeah. Is this a little different over here? Hello.
Bobby. man just how you feeling this is this is where your father became undisputed champion in this city and how's it feel coming to america and, and having this debut here in america yeah man it's been it's been a long time in the making you know um, after i beat jeff horn i was i was so keen and eager to come you know but because of the, the whole covid stuff you know i wasn't able to, um, but yeah um, it's good to be finally here did you did you come to America and, and are you working with PDC because they have the champions in the division and that's where your ambitions are to fight the all winner of Charlo Castano? All, all, all the top dogs in the division are from PBC, you know, and, and you know we we've got a good history with Showtime um, from back in my father's days, so you know it's a it's a good little um, partnership that we've we've come come up and, and you know I'm quite excited to, to be on this platform. It's a, it's a, it's a big big opportunity for myself. Do you feel like you show some some some, some real ambition in coming over here? Because I, I, there's another scenario where you could have just stayed overseas in Australia, right, and got to a mandatory position. And um, but do you feel like you coming here shows how serious you are about becoming the best in the world? Man, I, I just I just want to take on take on the best. You know, um, we've done great things in Australia. You know, the, the stuff that we were doing it was it was, it was pretty unreal, pretty crazy for for my age. 
but you know I need to get out of my comfort zone and you know come to come to here and you know um, do, do things differently. What do you think of your opponent, Jose? You know, former U.S. Olympian. Yeah, no, he's, he's an incredible opponent. You know, top opponent. You know, he's got he's got all the good tools. Uh, he's quick. He's got good IQ. Uh, he's got a bit of power. Uh, he's got it all. You know, and that's that's you know I'm not I'm not here for. Uh, shit fights. I'm here to try and take on the best. Because you could have taken an easier fight, being you're already the mandatory for the Castaño and um, um, Charlo winner, anyways. Yeah, yeah, but Terrell's, uh, you know, that opponent that, that gets you to that next level as well. So, you know, step by step, um, as I said before, motto is whoever, wherever, whenever. Who, who do you think wins the rematch coming up uh, between Charlo and Castaño? I think Castaño wins. I thought he won the first one slightly. Um, Depends. Depends on who's ready. You know. I think Charlo's real in the right mind mindset for this fight. So who knows, man? Is, Is Charlo to you? Um, who would you rather fight between Charlo and Castaño? I couldn't care less. Yeah. You know, Charlo would be pretty cool here in America. Yeah. Um, just because uh, it would be a bigger fight. Um, but I, I couldn't care less. You know, when when the boys, eat, whoever wins, has got all the belts, man. They call the shots. You know? there's, there's there's not much not much you can do about it. Yeah, I saw your tweet where you called them a pussy cat. Like what you said. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, well. he calls himself a lion. <laughs> yeah. But when you downgrade from a lion, you know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> is it all comparisons with your dad and like that, and the fact that now you're going for like all the belts and straps in America? Yeah, it, it it brings back similarities, you know, the the unknown versus the the flash. Um, yeah, it would be that's that's why it would be a bit more. Be cool as well. Tim, I'm at home, sir. What, what advice has your father give you? You know, coming over to America and everything like that. Oh, chasing it, your dreams. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it doesn't say much. You know, just get yourself ready, which I'm always am. You know, I'm a true professional, um, and um, I'm fighting non-stop. You know, mm -hmm. I don't take rest in mm -hmm. these honeymoons that these boys are on um, in my division, um, fighting once a year. Um, I'm always non-stop. So you know, so that's where that's how it is. You know, Gachet, he, he may have had, I don't know, maybe three or four times the amateur fights you had. You had 34, right? Yeah, yeah. How are you beating these guys who, who got such a head start on you? You know, started younger, Look, more amateur yeah, fights? Yeah, professionals is a, is a different game, you know. Um, when, when people get in the ring, they don't understand. I don't look big. I don't look strong. But when I get in the ring, I, I, I give this dominance out where this is my ring and this is, this is, this is my arena and this is what I do. And you're coming into my stage, you know, and and I'll I'll let the boys know that as soon as as soon as the fight starts, as soon as we shake hands, I'll present that dominance straight away. Well, you were more dominant uh, against Ino Uwe than Mungia was, uh, more dominant against Hogan and Charlo and, and Horn, than maybe oh, just as dominant as Crawford. What do you think that said about you? That, I look, yeah. I, don't, I don't like to touch, 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 move around the ring, score a bit of points. No, I don't like that. It's from from the from the from the first second of the fight starts. My objective is to take you out, you know, and, and that's the whole point. And the whole every round in every second, I'm going to be in front of my opponent's face nonstop. He, 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 say that last fight, he the guy kept coming. He walked him into a right hand. You know, with your aggressive style, is that something you have to watch out for? Yeah, of or, course, yeah. of course. That's what boxing's all about. That's what makes it what makes it interesting, you know. Yeah. Something will happen this week. Um, so we're spending time with senior. Do I mean with senior? Yeah, yeah. Birthday. Yeah, well, we just rocked up to the um, to the gym and, and and senior was there and yeah, it was good fun. You know, I haven't I haven't seen that type of humor in a long time and, and the boys really yeah they they really joke around and, and have fun. Did you get a chance to see you work? Hit the pads or anything? Yeah, or? he was on the <coughs> on the other guys um on the other guys team. So I oh, you were sparring. One, I sparred one of his boys. Yeah, so. He was um, yeah, going up with the other guy. <laughs> did you win him over? He, he like, did you think you were a good fighter? Oh, right, man, man, you gotta, you got to ask him that. <laughs> uh, Tim, uh, Terrence Crawford said he wants him with 154. Would you fancy a fight with Terrence at 154? If he comes if, up? Man, I'll, I'll, I'll fight anyone, bro. Honestly, I'll yeah. fight anyone, man. Okay. If, if, if I get to fight Terrence Crawford, that's, that's, that's cracker, man. Does that's, the, that's sick. Does the winner of Lubin Fundora make sense? Maybe 100%. The... No, I'll, I'll fight anyone. Who do, you think, who do you think wins that fight? That's kind of an interesting clash. Lubin or Fondora? Yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's a tough one. Just because Fondora's height, it's so awkward, you know. Whoever whoever he fights is just going to give you trouble. But at the same time, Lubin's a crafty fighter. And, and Fondora gets hurt, gets hit a lot. Too. Yeah. Lubin's got the, the tools to win.
would you would you kill the body against a guy like Fundora? All that height? Would that well, it would be hard to hit him. <laughs> it's like chopping down a tree. You got to start from the bottom up. And you know, uh, Australia has some great momentum now. Cambosis becoming champion. Uh, Sky Nicholson did her thing. You know, the why? Brothers, the Maloney brothers. Right? Yeah. yeah. Why do you think that is, man? Why? Look, we're we're a small little island far from the rest of the world, you know. Uh, but we work hard there and we, we get every opportunity that's presented to us and, you know, it's, it's good that we have um, these stable of fighters now that are representing on the world scale and I'm, I'm glad to be a part of this this uh, new era in Australian boxing. Do you, what do you think is the best fight out there? You Obviously, you for know... Myself? For myself? For uh, Cambosas. What, what do you oh, think? George? Yeah. Um, well, whoever yeah. makes more sense, man. There's what... Uh, Loma and, Loma and Haney. Mm -hmm. yeah. You think he beats uh, either one of those guys? Oh, it's a tough fight. But, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a tough one. Uh, what he did against TFM was incredible, man, and all respect to that. But, yeah, I think uh, in this in the lightweight division especially, it's, there's some hard fights out there. But, you know, if you can get the job done, that's, that's just... Incredible, man. George has spoke about the Marvel Stadium, I think, in Melbourne, if oh, I'm yeah. not mistaken. Um, obviously, we saw the Pacquiao horn fight out there in, in, in Australia, but what would it mean to have another fight of that caliber, you know, in Australia, upwards of 50,000 people potentially in a stadium fight? What would that mean just to, for Australian boxing? Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's great for Australian boxing, you know. It's, everyone's excited back in Australian boxing, you know, and if I... If I can get these straps um, to Australia as well and do a stadium like that, that's, that'd be unreal. I, I know you may have touched on it before I got here, but Charles Cassandra now obviously has, has a date May 14th. Um, I'm sure you saw the, the first the first fight they had last summer. How do you see the rematch play out based on what you saw? Yeah, I think, look, in my eyes, I think um, Castano wins. Um, just his work rate, uh, but I think Charlie's in the right mindset, so anything can happen. Does Charlo, you know, with his height and athleticism, have more room to make adjustments than Castaño? You know, yeah, for, yeah, I think the adjustments could be made more from from Charlo's side. Um, but he doesn't, he doesn't, his work rate's not as high as um, Castano. So, you know, if you if you watch um, most of the rounds. Uh, Castano is dominating. It's Charles that's landing the, the cleaner and bigger shots. I guess most importantly, are you going to show up to the fight? Attending yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll, we can get, get ourselves there. We'll be good. Tim, uh, I don't know if you know me, but you have a great, big Mexican fan base. Yeah. And you finally have a story with, with the best Mexican ever. Yeah. So, what can you tell to the Mexican fans? Because for us, the boxing is a religion. Yeah, yeah, well, look. Um, the Mexican fans are crazy, man, and I, and I absolutely love them, you know. And some of my favorite fighters ever were Mexican, Julio Cesar Chavez, uh, loved watching. I was, I was actually watching his fight um, today um, in the morning. Uh, just, you know, it, it's great to have the support of the Mexicans, you know, hopefully, yeah, it's great. It looks Is there like any you know, Mexican in your future, like a target? Any fighter? Fight um, any Mexican Who's there? there? I mean, Munguia. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Took a few of his leftovers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, who else is there? That's it. When we're in the future, man, in the uh, middleweight would be. Fondor is Mexican American, right? Mexican, uh, eh, kind of Uruguayan. Uh, right. But, uh, you, uh, uh, could you share something that your father told you about the, the fight against Mexican boxers? And tough. Of course, William. Yeah, tough, tough, non stop. And, this heart, and, and, the heart, balls, you know, that's what I love about balls. it, you know, <laughs> that's what most fighters these days don't have, is this and this. This and this, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Mexican zoo, oh, Mexican zoo. That's where you got the left hook from the body from, that's right? Yeah. We, we've seen, we saw with George, he basically had to travel all over um, to get to this point, right, to get the opportunity to see God. He's made it clear, you know, I went on the road, I did what I had to do. Now with you going on the road, is this something that mentally you're kind of preparing for? Like, I may have to be away from home fighting on the road for a while to get that title opportunity. Do you think, are you mentally prepared for that? Yeah, man. This doesn't bother me, man. This is, this is, this is all sick, bro. You know, this is, this is what I live for, you know. I got, in, in Australia, we, got, we get a bit, 
you know, we're in our comfort zone, we're at home, you know. Uh, but yeah, this is this is mad, man. Even sparring at the main with the gym, and everyone's yelling, and every, you know, this is this is mad, you know. Like, this is what I this is what I live for. Have you ever heard of Minneapolis before your fight got announced? <laughs> not really, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I've looked it up. It's nice and cold there. Okay, I, um, yeah, I was gonna say. I hope you guys got some jackets. Yeah, we definitely like brought that. Yeah. And Tim, uh, just uh, how do you see that Canelo Bivol fight? Now. How do you see that Canelo Bivol fight? I reckon uh, Canelo too strong, you know. His physicality, he's, he's just, he's a monster. How long will you be in the States before you head back? How long will I be in the States? Yeah. Man, I'll be on the flight, uh, plane straight back, you know. Okay. Yeah. In and out, and then I'll come, I'll come back later on later. Is Vegas going to be kind of your new training spot when you come to America? Or? Oh, look, we'll see. We'll see, I love Vegas here. Um, we got Dewey Cooper helps us out here. And we get good sparring, and you know everyone treats us real well here. So it's a good spot to be. Good training facilities uh, and good camping. Do you have any uh, memories being here as a kid? You know when? No, really, man. I, I didn't really. Um, I, I never used to come to my dad's fights. So yeah, I used to always watch it at home. That's how he was, you know. Business uh, and then come back home. That's how I am. Seems you know? like that's how he is with you too, yeah, a little well, bit. Well, like, we're, we're like old school, man. We're, we're real old school. We're, we're none of this. We're not bullshitters, you know. We're, we're not all this flash and uh, be someone you're not. I'm just being me, man. That's it. Where, where'd that hunger come from? Because a lot of these guys, they come, you know, from nothing, and that's why they fight. Where, where's yours come from, Tim? Man, I think uh, when you grow up with a dad like like mine, he was he was he was crazy, man. He was just so focused and driven and you know that's I guess that type of life uh, sort of came out to, to myself and you know uh, I'm ready to eat I'm uh, you know I, I've never been given anything so I've been always working hard for it thanks Tom uh, how hard do you use a beer too? what's that? do you have any pressure to be a son of a legend? pressure makes diamonds yeah. pressure makes diamonds you know so if there's no pressure then everyone's relaxed and comfortable I like pressure. I thrive on it, and I perform better from it. Yeah, Tim, uh, you, you seem to be very easygoing. Uh, what, what, what makes you tick, man? What, what drives Tim Zoo? What drives me? Yeah, yeah. Man, as soon as I get in the ring, I love to punch on. Yeah. That's it. You know, I love to. I like to inflict damage. I like to inflict pain, and um, there'll be plenty of pain coming next Saturday. Seek and destroy. That's it. It's quite simple. Seek and destroy. Yeah. You mentioned. Uh, Going back to Dewey Cooper, are, are you going to be able to maybe teach Francis Ngannou some maybe <laughs> tweeting, punch techniques? <laughs> Bro, I don't think he needs any teaching, man. He's, he's, he's got enough power, and I don't think he needs to get taught any technique. <laughs> and has, have you had the chance of meeting him while you've been here? Francis? Yes. No, no, man. We we arrived last Saturday, so we oh, haven't okay. been here for too long. So yeah. And mentioning power, just because you're leading off the early PBC schedule, right? and you also have Tank and Rolly. Yeah. Another. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on on Tank, Tank and Rolly? Mm -hmm. Man, I'm a big fan of Tank. I love the, I love his style. I love his um, left uppercut. You know, if he gets to land that, then uh, what's Rolly? Rolly? He's in a in a world of trouble. Are you assuming that Tank's gonna win the fight? Just yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. Who do you think? Who, who do you think uh, gives them the toughest fight at, at lightweight at 135 pounds? Obviously, Tank. Uh, you, you said you're a big fan. Oh, all right, yeah. You know, obviously, George's there, Devin Haney's there, Ryan yeah, Garcia's look, there. Man, all the all the contenders and and George as the champion are are all top level, man. All world level, you know. So they're all up there. Uh, but Lomachenko, I think, is something special. Mm. Would so, you say the same thing in, in your skill set that you want to add to that would get you to that next level that you're from where you're already at right now? What's that? Would you say there's anything you want to add in your skill set? Oh, everything, man. Everything. I'm 27 years old. Um, I've got plenty of learning to do. I live and breathe this sport. You know, there's there's so much more to learn. There's so much more to experience, and the whole journey is just it's fun. And, and seeing the fact that you've already fought in big kind of stadium like that. Does it feel a little different coming over here? Like, I know that mm. the crowd, you're already used to the media and things like that. Mm. But if you, like, fought at, like, the MGM or the, the big arenas that they advertised back in the day, when yeah, yeah, yeah. does it add a little more pressure or it just feels not the I, same picture already? No, look, I, I, don't, I, don't feel, I don't feel pressure, man. Honestly, I just block it out. I don't, I don't, I don't feel it. It's just, I love this whole, this whole process and... Like, this is a new chapter for me, you know, even seeing all you guys, this is new faces to me, you know. Yeah. Usually I'm, I'm used to the same old media, I'm used to the same old gyms, the same old climate, same old weather, everything, you know. Now I'm at Mandalay Bay, where I've been watching my whole life in Vegas, 
I've been watching Mayweather videos, Mayweather 24 sevens, and I'm at the gym sparring where everyone's screaming. Um, I'm in front. Yeah, you know, and it's it's just this is this is what I live for. You know, this is, this is unreal. You know, I could be back home in Australia, sitting in my apartment right now, or I'm here in Vegas, preparing for the fight of my life. This is this is what I live for. Tim, uh, what's your favorite fight in boxing history and why? Uh, Trinidad Vargas. Ooh. Yeah, Trinidad Vargas. That's, that. That's the era I sort of watched uh, boxing. Uh, I was a big fan of Trinidad and I was a big fan of Vargas. And um, again, it was Mexico versus Puerto Rico. Rico yep, yep. Everyone loves that. Great rivalry. Yeah. Now his son's all to sign a deal, all three of them. Who? Uh, uh, Vargas. Oh, Vargas. Oh, he's got yeah. sons that fight. Yeah, all three of them. Yeah, right. And they are here in Vegas. So oh, maybe sick, you, man. You can, you can yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to meet Vargas, bro. He's, yeah. he's, he's, a, he's an animal. He said they come from the royal nutsack. Sons, so. <laughs> <laughs> then they're special, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But, but thanks, Tim. It's I want to awesome. be seeing Fernando Vargas. Do you, you want to send a message to Fernando so I can deliver? Fernando, I used to love your haircut. The, the bold with the little with the little the little fringe. Ah. Maybe one day I can grow like that as well. <laughs> what are your plans for the, the rest of this year right now? The rest of 2022? Um as soon as as soon as this fight finishes, uh, get ready for my next fight. Have a couple of weeks rest and get ready for the next one. You know? Come back here hopefully. Or we could do Australia but man, I told you I love this thrill, you know? Love it. So good. Yeah. Have you noticed a difference in the just the uh, the caliber of work you're able to get out here versus Australia. Obviously, you know, Vegas is home to a lot of world champions. A lot of world champions come here to train. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that in the short amount of time that you've been here? Uh, yeah, a little bit. You know, the quality is obviously better. Uh, we get the same work in Australia, man. You know, we got, we got quality fighters there as well. So, um, I definitely, like, my, my training came to Australia and, and we do, you know, it's, it's all good. Uh, for me, this, this whole thrill, the change, you know, uh, even the accents, you know, yeah. <laughs> so cool, you know, I, I love all this thing. I've heard a lot of great things about your brother, Nikita. What can you tell people about Nikita? Is he's, he's a, he, he described himself as the butcher. I'm the surgeon. I like to slowly pick someone apart. Yeah. This guy just likes to brut brutally just ax you. Violent guy. Yeah, yeah, violent, violent. There'll be blood, there'll be, there'll be blood splattering everywhere. He's that type of guy. Messy, messy. Yeah. A lot of people assume things about your journey because of the pedigree. What do most people do about what you had to go through in order to get to this point that they have to assume? Look, um, nothing is given, everything's earned. Um, yeah, people, people obviously will have different perspectives of me, uh, or, but you know, I, I really couldn't care less. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just here to, to put on big fights. Uh, to bring a lot of people together and you know just just make something worth living for. Have, do you feel any any pressure? Because obviously um, there's been a lot of talk about you. We've been seeing you fight, but this is you know the biggest name on your resume. Your first time fighting out here. Mm. Um, there's been a lot of talks about it. Do you feel that? Do you feel any added pressure no. because of? No, nothing, bro. Right. Nothing, man. I'm just I'm just mellow. <laughs> Just a badass. <laughs> you said so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned the fact that you're getting good sparring and good work in Australia, and there's a huge resurgence now of combat sports yeah. in Australia. How tight is that fraternity right now? I mean, of course, even with MMA, you got tied to Boston, and yeah, you yeah. as well. Do you talk to those guys? Yeah, we. I, I speak to a bit of, to to Ty. Um, yeah, we got a good network um, in Australia. Even uh, Rob Whitaker in the in the UFC, you know. Uh, we've got a high level of, of combat sports and um, it's good to have this group and be able to represent on that on that world scale. Are you going to do any shoeies? Shoeies? Yeah. I'm not much of a, a drinker from the from the shoe. <laughs> what was your thought? I'll give it a go though. I'll give it a go. <laughs> what, what was your thoughts on that knockout that Tuvasa did on Derek Lewis? It came out of nowhere, eh? Mm -hmm. just, just, what was it, an elbow? Just, yeah, out yeah. of nowhere. He was, he was... Yeah, Ty's a beast, man. I love his style. I love, I love the way he is, and yeah, he's just a, he's just a cracker person. Are, are you much of a UFC fan? A little bit, a little bit. Not, not. I wouldn't say I follow it completely. Um, just the names you know. Yeah, I know, I know a few of the boys. Who do you like to watch? Like not, not, not just in the UFC, but like just in boxing. Like who do you modern guys that are fighting to yeah. champions? Who do you like to sit back as a fan and just? Canelo, I'd say Canelo is a good. I uh, love, love watching Canelo. Uh, Tyson Fury. He's, he's, he's pure entertainment. 
Um, no, I like the I like Anua, you know, the Japanese guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Takeshi Anua. No, not Takeshi. Um, no, 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 does Fury beat White the same himself? Tough fight, man. I think, but he's a big boy, Tyson Fury, you know? So if he does what he did to, to Deontay, I think it, it's going to get the legs out of um, Dylan White. Dylan White. Dylan White. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not good with names, huh? Um, and it'll be in a world, world of trouble. So he, you think he's better off just sticking to what he's done against Wilder instead of mixing it back up and trying to box uh, Dylan White off the back foot? I think he's in that front mindset now that he just needs to seek and destroy, you know? It's been working well for him, so I think keep doing that. What's the worst thing that can happen? You get knocked out. <laughs> Tim, uh, you mentioned earlier that you feel that Canelo has little to no problems with Vivo, and obviously you just said you enjoy watching Canelo. Who do you believe gives them the toughest test? Like, who do you think is out there that could give Canelo the biggest Canelo challenge? Canelo the toughest challenge? Yeah, 68, um, 75, 200, Bridger, it don't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, twice the Fury. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, right, you joke, but I, I say, I think, to me, like, Tyson's probably his biggest challenge right now because... If he can reach him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think Bridger way down, he could probably compete. Yeah, yeah, any, the thing is, he's got a strong, strong legs and strong core, you know. And when you got that, you can just push anyone off. You know, look what it did to Kovalev. You know, Kovalev is a lot heavyweight with strong punches, and, and Canelo just walked straight through him, you know, and then landed the, the biggest shots and Kovalev was. A lot of people felt he was down at the time of the 11th round knockout. Did you feel that way? Did you, did you think Canelo? No, I thought Canelo was, Canelo was up. Okay. Yeah. I, I just love that style, man, of just seek and destroy, you know, being able to be patient, parry a few shots, and then just land those big ones. What do you think of uh, Benavidez' fight for Canelo? Oh, that's trouble, man. That's a big one. I, I wouldn't. That's a 50 55 for me, actually. Mm-hmm. The Benavidez' fight. I think Benavidez is a pure animal, man. He's a beast. What, what about uh, Better Be if, you know, you know, fight like a heavyweight champ? Yeah, Better Be if. Um, you know, 17 and 0, all by yeah, knockout. Too slow. I think uh, stylistically it's a perfect fight for Canelo. Walk forward, Canelo is able to work him from the body to the head. No, I mean we've seen better be go down. So is that why you say? Okay. No, I've, I haven't seen that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, 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 that, I, that, look, that doesn't matter. Okay. That doesn't matter. You know, it's not. It's not how you fall. It's how you get up. Mm. You know, if he's able to get up and keep going, that's, that's all so that matters. Good. Okay. Yeah. And then just before I let me go, just leaving the path, obviously you trained and you know a lot of the up-and-comers. Is there any fighters that you want to let us know that we should start Googling and may not get the attention? Um, in now? Australia? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, there's plenty of plenty of fighters. There's, um, look, my brother's coming up now. Nikita, yeah. Yeah, Nikita's coming up. He just started, but he'll be, he'll be on the scene in maybe three, four years. Who knows? Um, man, there's plenty of time. I can't, I can't remember the top of my head in all honesty. So we get a final prediction, man. Are you predicting a stoppage of Terrell Goucher, or do you not yeah, like Yeah, look, to... I'm, I'm coming for the stoppage. I'm coming to win. And um, I think it depends on what he brings, you know. If he wants to mix it up, then let's do it. Because we did see, like, in the Lara fight, it seemed like after a while he just decided to make the distance. And uh, is what that... a lot of these fighters are, man. They're just distance fighters, you know. Who wants, who, wants to, who wants to watch distance? Everyone wants to see knockouts. <laughs> you seen his last fight, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Caught the guy good. Mm-hmm. Nice and simple. You know, he does a good thing as well. Boom, boom, one, two. Counter right, was it? Yeah. He walked yeah. him into a right hand. Right yeah. Hand. yeah. yeah. Southpaw, you know? Yeah. yeah. Lanky Southpaw. Made one mistake, and that's all it took. Mm. Are, are you going to watch a lot of film on, on your opponents? Um, I come across a lot of fighters, they say they watch no film. I come across uh, guys that say they watch film maybe once or twice, and that's it. Yeah. What is it like for you? Is it... No, I've, I've watched a bit. I okay. need, need to know a little bit, but you know, I couldn't care less. You know, once we get in the ring, it's he's going to have to adapt to me. Mm. You know, it's not me adapting to him. I know what he, what he brings. I know the, the shots he's good at. I know his strengths. I know his weaknesses. Thanks, well, thank you. Thank hey, you happy so to have you here in the States, man. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Lalee's going to be the man that makes it all happen today. President, right here. Hey, how are you doing? Right here. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Just a man that made it happen. Appreciate you being here. We get the phone with you.
Um, Vegas Stronger, Stronger thing. This is Vegas Stronger. It's a drug rehab. Yep. So we have people get off drugs and alcohol. Yep. And uh, instead of using drugs, I think people should train. 100%, 100%, I'm all for that, you know. And boxing changes lives, then. It yeah, changes for the good. without a doubt, it does. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Can I take some poses here, guys? You could, uh... You guys turn around this way, that guy gets yeah, your face stronger. Good. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do them over here. In this room over here, I got it. I'm gonna get the mic on. The gym is open. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to go Our comp Sean Zatel here with the Bounty Hunter. That's right, man. Top heavyweight contender, my man Michael Hunter. Of course, and just so they, it, just in case they forgot, Olympian, American Olympian, my That's man right. Michael Hunter. Who's got a bounty on their head right now, Mike? Um, it looks like Huey Fury and uh, maybe Chisora. So we are uh, in the talks about that. And then uh, we, we might got something, something cool. It's good because I'll, I'll probably go back to England and, you know, fight over there. So it'll be good. You know, Derek Chisora kind of prides himself on being that intimidator, that bully. Any message for him? Yeah, uh, that's not going to work on this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, uh, shout out to Derek. That's my guy. Uh, I would love to get in the ring with him. You know, he's uh, he's always a hard test, test to deal with. So uh, it would kind of be similar to a Pavekian fight where, uh, you know, uh, the guy is uh, has a lot of experience and it'll be a, a good show. Would that fight be a, a war? Would it be more of your job to not just let it be a war. Absolutely, absolutely. I think uh, that would be definitely uh, my job is to keep it nice and smooth and keep it boxing. You know, I think uh, his job is to make it ugly, and uh, which he does very well. And um, he knows how to pull people out of uh, their element. So uh, I think it would be a very, very good uh, IQ game. And how much would you want to just fight in front of, you know, a big crowd like that? Oh, absolutely. You know, I'm, 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 I'm a thoroughbred, so... I'm used to fighting in big, big arenas, and um, you know it gets excited when you fight in those arenas. And uh, you know, more support the better. So, and to be over there, and, and, and you know, with uh, ch thousands of Chisora fans, uh, it will be exciting and exhilarating. So, uh, hopefully, uh, Chisora shoots shoot, shoot, shoot something back to me. And why Huey Fury? Why is he on the? the why uh, is he I think he, sp he spoke up. Uh, you know, I know a boxer. Uh, Sky Sports wants to, uh, you know, throw shows. They, they've recently signed a, a handful of fighters, and uh, they want some shows. And uh, I'm, I'm one of those guys that will go across seas with no problem. Um, I've been over there a few times. I'm um, a familiar face over there. So I think that, uh, you know, people are forcing and they want to see uh, good fights. And I think that uh, they know that that would be an interesting fight. 